How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today, our quote is by the Buddha. The quote is, Let us rise up and be thankful, for if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little. And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick. And if we got sick, at least we didn't die. So let us all be thankful. I know it seems as if the sky is falling every day, as we hear nonstop about all the different crises that are going on around the world, especially if you are someone who has been directly impacted by everything going on. It can be difficult to feel thankful right now, but as the Buddha said, as long as we're breathing and live to fight another day, we should remain thankful. It's all a matter of perspective, no matter how bad things may seem, we can always find something to be thankful for. For many people, it often takes a crisis for them to realize all the things that, that they take for granted in their lives. We all get sucked into our routines of day-to-day -day living, but now with the pandemic, millions of people's lives and day-to-day -day routines have been painfully disrupted with no end in sight. It's easy to start feeling hopeless, to get sucked into a pit of despair. So it's important for us to find things to be grateful for. And from this place of gratitude, take actions that will move us to a better place, no matter how small they may seem. Right now, anything helps. People in positions of power like to say to never let a crisis go to waste. Of course, they are talking about advancing their political interests, but we should also never let a crisis go to waste by using it to help us grow. This pandemic is a helpful reminder that life's very nature is uncertainty. For many of us, modern life has gotten so comfortable in terms of material wealth that we have become very complacent on many levels and end up living in our own little bubble that any taste of the unknown causes tremendous amounts of anxiety. So you can use this time to really learn about yourself and to learn to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. You can use it to get clear on what you want from life and to get your priorities straight. If you use this situation to realize what's really important in your life, if you are smart, you will use it as motivation for your inner journey to find that place inside you that is not touched by anything that happens in the external world. Once you find this place, learn to abide in it longer until you can take it into your day-to-day -day life and then be able to smile at whatever life throws at you. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's little quote. If you did, hit the subscribe button and please share with anyone who may enjoy my content. And I really appreciate you tuning in wherever you are in the world. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.